Art supply is super expensive, so today I'm comparing super expensive paintbrushes versus very cheap paintbrushes and see what it's like to paint with both to see if you can get a good result with both or with just one and see if it's worth it to go one way or another, especially for beginners. Over the years, I've collected a bunch of expensive brushes, artist quality brushes, and I also bought a pack of super cheap dollar store paint brushes. I think there's 25 brushes in there for only $3. Couldn't get any cheaper than that. I'll be painting the same landscape on both sides, trying to keep things simple and see what we get. Obviously, the artist quality paint brushes are gonna work well, right? More expensive, they work well. So I wanna focus all my attention on the cheap brushes. The first and biggest issue that I found while using these cheap brushes is the fact that the bristles fall off. Especially this brush or these types of bristles, it sheds so much on me. There was a bunch of bristles on my canvas and that could be a big issue. You. This could also happen with an expensive brush, but it's very rare. And if one or two bristles fall, it's not a big deal. But when 25 fall, then it becomes an issue because sometimes you can miss one. It could bake into your painting and once it's dry, it's there. You can't take it off. So it could be so disheartening and frustrating to work with a brush that loses bristles. But in this pack, not all the brushes were losing bristles. It was mostly those harsher types of bristles that were more prone to shedding compared to the nylon brushes. Obviously, when buying cheap brushes, there's not as many variety of types of paint brushes. So as a beginner, if you're learning a specific technique, a more classical type of way to paint, you might have more trouble finding specific types of brushes, like a rigger brush, the one that's very thin and long to paint uh, tall grass blades, or maybe some types of fan brushes. Those can be a little harder to find. So variety compared to more classical types of ways to paint might be an issue depending on what you want to achieve. In that same vein, getting more detailed and sharper lines in a painting is important sometimes. So for that, you need a very small, fine, detailed brush with a nice point. That's really hard to find in very cheap brushes. They tend to be like unruly to say the least. Granted, I bought the cheapest brushes that I could find at the dollar store. Some brushes are inexpensive, like very inexpensive, and not as low quality as the ones that I'm using now. I just wanted to try the worst possible brushes and see what I, what I could do with them to report back to you. Another problem, and it's a common problem, I feel like is durability. For example, in this pack, there was 25 brushes. During the painting process, I might have tried maybe a dozen, and on a dozen, two of them broke on me. Just by wiping the brush normally, bam, it came apart. That's something that would happen with artist quality brushes, but after years of use, or if you leave your brush in a jar of water for like three days, the glue would kind of unravel and that type of issue would happen, but never on a brand new pack of paint brushes but not all of them broke, not all of them were hard to work with. I found that the paint brushes that were nylon, especially the square flat top brushes were really good. They had a sharp edge, they seemed sturdy enough, and they seemed like they would be durable enough, especially for a beginner. So I was surprised about that, especially because the pack of 25 brushes was $3. I'd say that on the pack of 25 brushes, two of them broke, I threw away half of them because they were unusable. The bristles were crazy shedding or whatever, but I was able to keep nine brushes on 25. Nine brushes, $3, it works. Something to point out that maybe not everybody would mention is the fact that sometimes in art, when you're very limited, it makes you be more creative and find new ways of doing things that you would not have found if everything was at your disposal. What I mean by that is that one really cool exercise to do would be to paint a painting with only one brush. This way you try to use the brush in as many possible ways as you can and you also keep your, paints, your painting style very expressive and bold 
and that could be an amazing way to find your own art style. I find that so many people are looking for their signature artistic style and by limiting the tools or the color palette that we use, that's a really good way to push ourselves to explore, try things that we would have never tried otherwise and discover our own special way of doing certain things that's something to really cherish and not neglect working with a limited color palette or limited art supplies can really be beneficial if you're thinking about it or approaching it in that frame of mind if you're someone that wants to learn to paint in a very realistic way with a lot of details art supplies that are meant for professional artists are the way to go you don't have to buy all the brushes at once but i feel like when it comes to detailed and traditional techniques that's the best way to go because less frustration when we want to learn we want to be able to have that hurdle taken away of art supplies that would kind of make things harder for you but if hyper realism is not necessarily your goal and you want to just explore painting for the first time or develop your own style or be a little bit more expressive in your paintings i feel like cheap art brushes are absolutely workable if it was me as a super beginner i would probably try to buy a bunch of super cheap brushes very different brushes different types and sizes and try to figure out what i like the most and what i can do with specific brushes and slowly i would start to collect professional artist brushes especially starting with the smaller more detailed brushes or if i have like a weird shaped one that is very intriguing i would just pick one brush at a time and explore with that as opposed to buying a full kit of very expensive brushes. When buying professional art supplies, I feel like paints and especially paper is where to invest the money because that's where you're gonna get the most um, out of your money because it will last longer with more quality materials but with paint brushes as you can see the result is very similar i didn't put in a crazy amount of details here but if you want to get inspired and see what super cheap art supplies can do watch this one i created it with crayons it goes to show that it's not about the art supplies it's really about what you want to do with it i'll see you in just a few days for another one thanks for watching bye